Every now and again, it's good to remind yourself what vanilla Doom actually feels like to play. It's easy to lose perspective when most of your time is spent playing endless reams of mods that just drastically alter the experience. So occasionally it's good to just recalibrate that perspective to remind yourself what a normal vanilla run through looks like. Uh, yeah, that, that ain't normal. That ain't normal at all. Well, at least the bullets still work at this size. That's a relief. So this is actually the product of two different mods. The first of which is Big Doom, which paradoxically makes you feel small by making the levels huge. You can alter them by a factor of up to four, which is what I've got this set to. And the other element that's in play is the universal gameplay tweaker, which allows me to actually alter the size of the enemies because normally they'd be normal same size as me but here they now tower which just enhances the overall vibe of these big blown out levels now that said you may notice a few things here that aren't entirely in line with the overall aesthetic here and that's because unfortunately i didn't quite have enough time to figure out how to tweak things such as pickups and weapons so those are still distinctly normal sized relative to doom guy as are projectiles fired by varied enemies which is always a bit of an odd look when you've got this gigantic imp towering above and then a fireball launching from somewhere in the vicinity of its shin I can just imagine how awesomely terrifying that would be, though, if it was appropriately scaled. Just this gigantic fireball looming down on you. I'd say a significant drawback of playing at this particular scale, however, is that certain aspects of even this initial level here become flat out impassable. You can't jump up to this normally easily broached ledge. The way back to the start of the level is now completely out of bounds, and Lord help you if you step outside for that shotgun secret, because once you're done dispatching the imps here, you'll find out that poor little Doom guy over here just doesn't have the springiness in his legs to clear those big old chunky steps. You remind me today of a small Mexican Chihuahua. It's perhaps no wonder then that Big Doom is by default set to a factor of two. This, alongside having jump enabled, will allow you to clear those more chunky steps and at least make a bit more headway. Certainly, there are a few hairy moments. In the Crusher, for example, you're probably going to have to take full advantage of strafe running if you want to have any hope of clearing this particular gap. And when it comes to catching the elevator on the opposite side for the blue key, yep, you're going to have to be pretty sprightly to catch it before it rises again. Now, while I can't deny that using this particular scale makes the levels objectively more playable, I can't help but feel that I'm still losing that wonderful sense of scale that comes from just maxing out the settings. So, in that regard, I sought the assistance of yet another mod. This being Z Movement. This is a wonderful gameplay mod that allows you to add all sorts of dynamic movement to your repertoire. You can add dashing, you can add double jumping, grapple hooking, you can even make the movement feel a little closer to say Quake or Dusk or Duke Nukem, and crucially now allows you to scale those once imposing steps. Eliminating those drawbacks now gives rise to some rather amusing benefits. In the case of the underhauls, you can now effortlessly slip between the gaps that would formerly block you in and completely circumvent the red key card security bars. Outside of that, it is just plain satisfying to utilize something like the grapple hook at this stage, crossing huge swathes of the level in one swift movement and also putting it to good use in combat encounters too. There's nothing quite like flinging yourself around a corner before blasting a few former humans directly in the face. If anything, this kind of action gives me mild attack on titan vibes and man, all you'd need is a sprite swap and maybe a pair of swords in something like the chain gun slot and there you go, you got a ready-baked mod. Has anyone made that yet? Shame. So yeah, I think it's safe to say that I have had quite a high degree of fun with this combination of mods. One that I wasn't entirely sure would work, but as it happens, all three of these are quite compatible with one another. If anything, it's a combination that makes me wish I had more time to dedicate to the actual nuts and bolts of modding, because I'd love nothing more than to lash these together into their own dedicated package and sort out some of those minor irks that I mentioned earlier, such as appropriately scaled pickups and enemy projectiles. But until such a time, consider that idea open for anyone else who feels like taking a crack. In the meantime, however, I'm going to do what I do best and see what else I can slap on top of this combo. Oh hey, Russian Overkill, fancy seeing you here.